we get closer and closer to the start of the 2024 season for the Phillies, we feel like here at PHOY, it's time to tap into one of Jamie's other talents. That's not mispronouncing names, mm -hmm. uh, wearing sockless shoes, flip-flops and everything else. It's your bartender, your inner bartender. Yeah. So, Jamie, you have something prepared for us to kick off week one in honor of spring training. Yeah, I'm going to call it the clear water because yeah. baseball can be so boring at times. There's nothing better than some sunshine, a nice cocktail in your hands. So we're going to do a whole series here of baseball-themed drinks, uh, some beer concoctions. We'll do all sorts of stuff here. Uh, so we're going to start off to today. Uh, I'm going to call it the clear water, uh, even though it's not clear. Uh, what but we have some here. Some not clear too. So I'm it's thinking. Fun, I'm know? mentally in clear water always. Right. right. So and this is something that you guys can do at home. The ingredients that you have here, Jamie, simple. are very, very easy to find in your own grocery store. Yes. Or a lot of people have these already in their kitchen. Yes. So what we have here is tahine, uh, which is a Mexican spice, which we're going to use to rim the glass. Some grenadine for you, um, Shirley Temple addicts out there. Uh, some bitters. Uh, as some club soda, and you can either use some mezcal or tequila. Uh, I went with a nice mezcal because Oaxaca sounded cool and it's a pretty bottle. Um, so, Renee, what we're going to do here is put a little lime juice in this plate to rim our glasses. All right, in this lime place it up. Here. I don't know how to open that. I'm not going to lie, I was struggling. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. oh, it's a brand new bottle. That's why I had to oh, break can I the smell safety. It? I feel like it has a so this is great Ooh, on like vegetables and cooking to have, but it's yeah. also a really good like Bloody Mary rim it's or margarita rim. So, so just dump it on that plate. Yeah. A lot or, okay. Yeah, just dump it up. Oh, dump this it. is fun. Yeah, I'm having shot. fun. <laughs> so this cocktail is going to be two parts tequila mezcal to one part lime juice with a dash of bitters, uh, a little bit of grenadine, oh, and then... That. I don't shake the club soda personally because I feel like you lose the fizziness when mm, you do that. Okay. So we're gonna add the club soda, just a dash at the end. Okay. Uh, so you do a quick, you know. Oh, do you have you have the whole official pouring method too? Oh yeah. Well, you count in your head. Some people use jiggers. I don't. I okay. just do a one thousand count, and I lost track as I was, I was talking. Say, so that might have gotten a little heavy. Oh but boy. But that's all right. It's just a kilo. We're gonna be it's lit. Gonna it's great. Um, so how much about? Do you pour that? How many so 1,000? So two 1,000 pours of tequila for a 1,000 pour of lime juice. So in English? Uh, two ounces of tequila if you're using a jigger there proper at home. I am not proper when it comes to making cocktails because if you pour heavy, so be it. Ooh, look at that. Uh, Squeezing of the lime. Oh, yeah. Lime oh, juice lime shooting juice everywhere. Is, this is getting messy. So it's going to be two parts tequila mezcal to one part lime juice. Then basically just like a dash or two of bitters, so you can kind of adjust accordingly as you go there. So Jamie, if someone doesn't have one of these fancy lime squeezers like myself, <laughs> what else can you do to squeeze um, out Invest some lime in one because they're like five dollars and oh. very handy. Okay. Uh, I use it for cooking all the time to put on like fish and okay. vegetables and stuff like so that. So you don't recommend just squeezing it with well, your hands. Well, then the seeds get in there and it's just kind of a mess. Oh, that's so what I would I've been just doing recommend. Wrong all this time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Learning so a lot. I'm making a cocktail for me and you, so there's more than a 4,000 count in there, but you know, we'll, we'll be fine. So we're um, guesstimating here. That's roughly about what we need there. This could be a little stronger, right? All so right. Then we're going to take our bitters. We're going to do a dash or two of bitters in there. Mm -mm -mm. Three for good luck. What's, what's, okay. take a whiff of that. Yeah, I Tell feel like I need like to smell that. everything. I'm like a, a kid. Now my favorite Ooh. smell in the entire world is orange bitters. Oh, wow. This has like a this has, I was going to say, this has an orange It cuts a lot of nectarines. the, like, kind of alcohol It reminds bite. me of something to clear your sinuses. Yeah, so <laughs> grenadine we're going to go light on just for a little bit of sweetness. I don't want to go too heavy with I'm this. I'm a big grenadine fan. Because you want, you want the tequila to shine, you know? You don't want to overpower it. You see that? Wow. Shake, 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 I'm not gonna, shake, I was shake, never shake, one of those shake, bartenders shake. that did Can you like, do the, yeah. No, no, oh, no. if you're going to be a bartender. No, you're not getting the show with me. You're just getting For the record, this is not Jamie. I actually should have introduced you properly. This is the ego. This is his alter <laughs> ego. When Jamie is in the kitchen, behind the bar, or out grilling, or out pretty much doing anything, he's Diego. Mm, it's Diego yes. Lynch. And then I pour the uh, club soda in last so you Ooh. don't waste any of the good bubbles. Ooh. Maybe like a, a thousand count, you know. Okay. I just kind of wing it here. Right now. Okay, I'm getting a common theme of Yeah, 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 just kind of wing okay, it. And so then just give it a little little shake up. Uh, would you like to prepare our glasses Indeed. there? Indeed. Right Fancy. So I have a plate of lime juice here and a plate of tahine. Uh, and we are a light dip in the lime juice, a little Ooh. dip in the tahine. Gives you a perfect Fancy. rim. Fancy. 
Well, I'm actually, I'm so excited. This is exactly what you may need to sit down, watch some baseball. Maybe Mentally you're excited be in to, Florida already. right? You're not actually going to be. Oh, here you go. Bartender's moving here. Oh, the tahini. And thanks is to Bagels and the, Company for the cups. I like the ta tahini on the glass too. It yeah, feels very, very festive. fancy. And then yeah. you serve it with a lime wedge. I didn't bring enough limes that I forgot the wedges because I used it all for oh, juice. Oh, that would be great for the. Yeah, but there's know, enough lime juice in there. Oh yeah. It's just garnish. That's more for the look, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You don't need the look. We're here all for right. the taste. So now it's taste test time, and we'll see if Renee oh. approves of the clear water. I'm nervous, guys. Oh, I like the color. It's not clear. But it is but I, I feel being like called is, the clear water because I feel like this is also I feel like it's a good beach. Very springy. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say this is very much a good spring look of sitting out, relaxing. Cheers. Oh. Wow. Strong. <laughs> Nobody ever said I make my drinks weak, Renee. Especially when you lose count of the tequila. What do you think? <laughs> The tajin, the dahin, um, is very, very powerful rim. My cheeks are like. <sighs> yeah, that'll do it. Let me try to get it. The tajin definitely uh, got me. Oh, it's me. a powerful. You know, I'm yeah. not a big salt or sugar on the rim person. I feel like it gets in the way, but I, I wanted to step salt. out of the box today. And the tajin is very, very, it's kicking. It's mm -hmm. kicking. It's delicious on vegetables. Okay, refreshing. <laughs> not one you would run it back with? Well, I'm gonna drink a bunch of them. Okay, no, very good. I will say it's it's exactly what you want when you're sitting outside. I feel like my cheeks are are stuck. We it's could add very, a little more grenadine to. No, 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 it's needed. good because I feel like when you want a nice springy drink, you want something that's gonna feel fruity or tart, either either or. This is a good tart drink, and I feel like I could see myself sitting outside. Yeah. You know, sun, not cold weather. Over a body weather. of water, thinking right. about baseball. Right, by a beach or something, or watching a game. You know, this is this is exactly what you want to have. So, okay, Diego, right. yeah. I give I give this like a solid. I would give it a seven. A seven, seven out of ten. All right, I yeah. can deal with like, that for I the think first it's, run. I think it's very good. I like it. It was quick to make. Yeah, very easy. Easy ingredients. The key to this series is going to be ease. Yeah, and this, you know what? I also like a drink that when you drink it, you do feel like you're at the beach. Mm -hmm. So regardless if you're at work, at home whatever day of the week it is, you feel like you're somewhere relaxing on vacation. So we've got more great drinks you guys can test. This is the clear water. Yeah. Okay, and we're just getting started here. Much more than our bartender, Diego, is gonna be bringing us to try out. Hopefully you guys can mm -hmm. try some of these recipes at home too, because as you mentioned, very easy to do, very delicious, very tasty, yeah. and a great a home way bar to should always have bitters. Season. You should probably always have a little grenadine on hand, because you never know when it comes in handy. Tequila or mezcal. It's a staple. You got to have that in the home. I like it. And then a little club soda. That's well, cheers pretty, that's to that. That's basically it. You don't have to do the rim. It recommends a lime wedge, hmm. but there's a ton of fresh lime juice in there. So uh, to each their own. Uh, mm. But this is fun. There's going to be more to come throughout the year as we uh, get real silly uh, with baseball themed drinks and cocktails and all that stuff. Uh, so thanks for checking out part one of this series, and uh, we'll be back for more.